Come join in front of the barn or get in the barn. My father would be thrilled to have you all here. Okay, I've got the microphone now. Normally, this is my father's job. He, he never met a microphone he didn't like. And if he was here, he would be the one talking and you would have heard him the whole time. My father was certainly the biggest influence on my life. Yeah. He grew up in Brockton in the 1950s, which he said was the greatest city to grow up in, or the greatest time ever. Uh, cruise nights were a big event, and he certainly took part in cruising the drag. <laughs> he taught me many important lessons in life, but these lessons weren't things that were academic, they weren't multiplication tables, they were how to tell the difference between a 55, a 56, and a 57 Chevy. <laughs> And also, how to identify cars in old movies. So I still take those lessons with, with me to this day. And if you saw a sign that said STOP on it, it said that meant squeal tires on pavement. <laughs> he was a man of many accomplishments. He was a published author, a member of Mensa. He was a health and exercise enthusiast. And he also had shot many perfect rounds of trap. He was a, man of, he was a kind of a renaissance man, a man of many different uh, accomplishments. He was a private pilot as well. He was 40 years old and he got his license. And uh, he had some near death defying flights <laughs> that, that um, were, were quite a memory. <laughs> He was also one of the founding members of Wheels of Time, and he also, he, he was president for many, many uh, terms. And I see a lot of you folks here, and thank you for bringing your cars. It's certainly great to look at and bring a lot of great memories. He, he, he was always the MC at the, at the cruise nights. And uh, Madison, thank you so much for, for coming. Uh, Madison's our, our singer, and uh, during Rachel's basketball games, he recognized her talent. She would sing the national anthem as, as, a, as a young girl, and he said, that, that is phenomenal, and uh, brought her to the Wheels of Time to sing the national anthem. And he, and he would listen, listen to you um, on his own, just like, well, just listen to how great she is. And he, he's clearly a spotter of talent, because here you are, a professional musician. He's also on the school committee at Southeastern, where they've done a lot of work. Today, he'd be classified as a startup entrepreneur. You know, he, he, he tried his hand in the corporate world, but working for the man didn't suit him. He didn't want to be told what to do by people he didn't think knew what to, to tell him what to do. So he uh, had to call his own shots and make his own decisions. And what better way to engage with his passion for antique cars, muscle cars, and, and classic cars than to have a car dealership. So we founded Dutcher Motors. And in addition to that, there was Cozy Coal, Dutcher Insurance, Dutcher Towing, and Dutch Treat. <laughs> he, was, he was quite a clever marketer. He, he uh, uh, the best deal was a Dutcher deal was one of his slogans. <laughs> he, he would go to South Carolina to buy cars down there that were on the salt-free diet. <laughs> and he was on the, you could see him on the big screen at, at the old Skyview drive-in. He had, had commercials there, and if you were lucky enough to have local cable, he has a whole series of commercials where he got to try his hands at acting and directing. And there's a few stars of those commercials out here tonight. <laughs> he made friends wherever he went. Yeah, as you can see by, by this turnout, he had friends from Balsam Ave, he, he had, had friends from, from elementary school in, in Brockton, and Brockton High School, and then his Liberty Mutual friends, his softball friends, the car club friends, the standard sportsman's club friends. And whenever he made a friend, it was a friend for life. And people, okay, easy operators, I'm sorry, I missed someone in there. <laughs> there there were, were quite a few, and quite a few commitments. Uh, but the, the greatest asset was, uh, that he had is that wherever he was, whatever he did, he made things better. At weddings, 
uh, hit whatever table he was sitting at that had the loudest laughter coming. And thank you all for coming to, to celebrate and appreciate what a great man he was. Thank you. And I guess you can all do a toast now. I don't know, <laughs> you know, raise your glass to Joe Dutcher, author, pilot. Thank you. Thank you. Just like him. 